Okay guys, my baby. <laughs> what do we think? This is a 228, so it is big. But however, I feel like it rather looks like a 227 to me, but it is a 228 actually, I checked it. Um, so it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. My mom doesn't really like it, right? What do you think about this one? <laughs> not, not, my style. not your style. Is the breakfast good? Yeah? What are we doing today, Mom? It's a shopping day. We're gonna look at some pre loved eye candy. Oh, hi, little friend. Hi. We're just having breakfast, and this one came along. Oh, you pretty cat. We got something for you. Oh. Are you still a little kitten? You look so tiny. And guys, for anybody who's wondering, we're staying at the Dukes on the Palm and it is such a beautiful hotel. I absolutely love it. We've already been here last year and I can only recommend it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Yes, we are finally in Dubai. Exactly, we're in Dubai. I mean, can we please admire this background? Um, yeah, so this is part one, everyone. There will be many, many videos. I hope we're gonna end up with like four or five videos at the end. Fingers crossed. I don't know how much footage I get, of course. So today we are going to the luxury closet, which is one of the biggest pre-loved, you know, shops that we have here in Dubai. And guys, they have a reissue that I, you know, I fall in love with this baby like six months ago, to be honest. So I really want to look at it. And I really hope it's going to be a nice bag. So, you know, we don't know what's going to happen on this trip. Um, yeah. So I would say, should we go, mom? Should we have a look? Yes. Are we excited? Of course. Are we excited? Say, yes. <laughs> okay, guys, I am so excited. We are here. We're just gonna go inside there guys we are here okay guys so we are finally here and I cannot believe it this is the luxury closet and they have so many treasures I I can't wait to show you everything I mean this is what I was waiting for this is what we were waiting for right this is one of the best pre love shops in Dubai they have around like 40,000 items so what we see here is only like the creme de la creme basically and if you want to see something else from their website you have to tell them before you plan your visit so that they can bring the bag basically from the warehouses and yeah so that you can see it guys look at this jumbo i have actually never seen a jumbo with this type of like a vintage jumbo right we're talking vintage here with this type of hardware it is quite rare i have to say um there we have a yellow lambskin jumbo interesting Ooh. If this one, oh no, that's a maxi. Okay, it's too big for me anyway, to be honest. Beautiful, is this a clutch? No, it's an actual, it's an actual bag, guys. A sequence reissue. The Mademoiselle Lock here is a lot bigger than, you know, what we know from like a classic reissue. Two to seven ratio. I came for a very specific ratio, let me tell you. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. I hope they have it here, to be honest. I think I spotted it earlier. Um, and I was falling in love with this specific bag like six months ago and I was like hey if I ever make my way back to Dubai <laughs> nice clothing as well uh, I have to have a look at that one and I might take it home <laughs> so oh this is a very beautiful iridescent shine isn't it I love it but again I don't know why I always think like with gold it would pop more there, exotic bags Dubai is famous for their exotic pre-loved bags Look at this one, guys. Wow, okay. This is very interesting, isn't it? Is this a Chanel clutch as well? It is. That's quite cool. This is very pretty. I spotted this on the website as well, guys. Wow, I mean, look at the all the decorations on this bag. It's just classic Chanel. It doesn't scream Chanel, it doesn't have a CC logo. 
but you know who knows knows there we are <laughs> Guys, please tell me in the comment section below what you think about this one. This is the bag I came for actually. This is a 2 to 8 ratio. We're gonna try everything on later, of course, like we always do. Let me give you, you know, some close-up shots of the bag already. Isn't it beautiful? My mom said like, oh my god, no, <laughs> oh, Mina, that looks absolutely horrible. There's too much going on there. I love it. I love it. I don't know why. I saw this month ago like i said and i love it we try this one on later some beautiful chanel jackets guys and look at this one i think we should try that one too i have some python bags and you know you have to be very careful with them if that was pink leather i actually like this bag quite a lot i would probably think about getting it to be honest um, but not in python you have to be too careful more python bags if the scales lift which they will basically after, you know, a couple of years, after some time. Oh my God, can we see the details? Isn't this beautiful? Once the scales lift, you have to put it basically into a steaming bathroom after you've taken a shower and they will basically close down again, which is, you know, just a good tip if anybody um, has or owns some exotic bags. Wow, guys, this is a white alligator chanel bag and it has i don't know it has a weird finish can you see that it's lots of little dots it has some sparkles in it but it feels weird it's definitely treated um stunning piece i think it's around twenty thousand pound uh a hundred thousand dear dear hans i believe if i looked it up properly this is a two to eight ratio as well i don't know why but this two to eight ratio that i'm in love with doesn't look as big as this one you know and this guys, I love it too. I think my mom really, really like this. You should try that one. Look at this very special. Can we see that? This very special lock. Gorgeous. And I think even the chain is a lot more special than regular, the chains of regular ratios basically. Oh, I don't like this. That looks like pimples, <laughs> to be honest. Some Louis Vuitton for all the Louis Vuitton lovers. They have so many Birkins here as well, guys. And some multicolor pieces, which are so popular, of course. There we have some more Louis Vuitton. Capucines. Can't wait to, capucine, to get a Capucine myself. This is the original MM size. They discontinued that. That's the original PM size. Now they call it the PM MM, because this one doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Okay, so here we have a little Louis Vuitton. This is nice. I love it when they mix like black smooth leather with the reverse monogram canvas. Gorgeous. And some more Louis Vuitton. Oh, this one. I saw in Japan once and I absolutely love it. I mean, this one is quite used. Can we see that? But that's the Stephen Sprouse roses never full. Gorgeous. Um, quite difficult to come by nowadays. Some mamans. I actually liked the um, the black mamans with like all the embroideries as well. You're gonna see it in one of my future vlogs, I think. Okay, so guys, let's see. We have some more Gucci pieces. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Would anybody actually wear this? Let me tell me. Okay, here we have some more Chanel. Interesting. Oh, this one is sticky as well. I don't know what people do with their bags that they get sticky. Luckily, I never had problems with patent leather. Look at this. Oh, guys. Look at this. So first, I mean, cute little mint green boy bag. Beautiful pink tweed. Chanel 19. Mwah, I love it. Um, this one is really nice as well. It reminds me of the boy jacket ones. I mean, the jacket ones, they only basically had this chain and this was all the normal leather one. And this with a treat at the, at the edge is quite nice too, right? Ooh, this is a little cutie as well, isn't it? Okay, guys, I would say a couple of bags here as well. Let's look at the highlight. <laughs> okay, so mom, let me get my mom over and then she can give us her opinion as well because she's a big MS lover. Hi, <laughs> what's your favorite? If you could just pick one in MS bag right now, which one would you pick? Which one would you take uh, home? One? Yeah, if you could pick one. The red one? Show me, show me, show me on you. Take it. 
<laughs> That's amazing. It looks good on you. You're really drawn to red, huh? And then not there, just on the crook of your arm. <laughs> it looks good on you. It really looks good. Thumbs up, people. <laughs> okay, let me focus on these bags now. Thank you. Okay, so guys, let's look at this. I hope I can use the original audio and I hope this music that's playing in the background is not copyrighted. That's why I keep talking over it. <laughs> so here we have box calf, of course, my favorite leather. However, box calf, you know, has a lot of scratches. So you need to be aware of that. You need to really, really baby these bags. So this is the Dons, right? I think. Not a fan of that one. I think I just, I'm just drawn to Kelly's and Birkins, really. Um, Beautiful ones. I saw, guys, they actually have a Raisin Kelly. Oh, look at this one first. Beautiful Birkin 25. Okay, guys, amazing. So they have a beautiful Raisin Kelly 35. I really want my Birkin to be in that color. That is my absolute favorite MS color, guys. I'm blown away. We're gonna try that on in a second as well. Let me show it to you in the light because it looks almost black, right? But it's a really, really dark purple, basically. Here we have another plucked chicken bag. <laughs> That's what my fiance always says, right? And yeah, I, I mean, you know, some people like it, other, people's, other people don't, but more Birkin 25s. And this is even a Cellier Birkin, oh my God. They only came out recently, of course. We, are no, we all know the Retourné version, right? The Kellys always came in Cellier or Retourné. But for the back end, it's a pretty new, pretty new style. Oh, this is an image as well, isn't it? You never know where to look first. Okay, guys, so let's focus on this beautiful pink python. These are so gorgeous with a little decoration. However, can you see it makes a little dent in the back because I think the weight pulls it down. If that happens over a long time, you know, that's what's gonna happen. That's how it's gonna look like in the end. Um, interesting this I have never seen before I have to tell you guys I have never seen this one before absolutely gorgeous this is actually like little pearls it's proper embroidered gorgeous 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 let me know if anything else catches your eye this one I spotted as well I love it I also really like this green dark green emerald forest pretty okay so what else do we have here very interesting right look at this one guys so red carong skin absolutely fantastic i want this one this exact model this size in the green carong skin the classic bulgari color oh hello let's look at this one as well wow that is heavy it's quite an artwork can we see all the details? Gorgeous. Okay. Shoes, guys, for anyone who's interested in shoes. And a couple of these. So this is a crocodile, an alligator. An alligator, Fanny Peekaboo, a large one. Gorgeous turquoise color as well. Some more clothes. And yeah, I think, guys, to be honest, that's it, let's try some on. Okay guys, my baby, <laughs> what do we think? This is a 228, so it is big, but however, I feel like it rather looks like a 227 to me, but it is a 228, actually, I checked it. Um, so it is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. My mom doesn't really like it, right? What do you think about this one? <laughs> not, not, not your style. <laughs> do you like this one better? I thought saw that and I thought of you. Beautiful color. It's a very special Mademoiselle lock. Did you see? It's not the classic reissue Mademoiselle lock. It's like a very special, detailed one. Let's Beautiful. have a look. It really, really is pretty. Like yeah. So, guys, what do you think? Tell me first, what do you think about this one? Is it a must? Is it not a must? You guys know I have like a weak spot for the weird and the wonderful, right? <laughs> and I feel like this really, you know, fits this category. Uh, well, it fits into this category, right? And, oh, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Okay, guys, so here is this beautiful issue again. And oh, it is stunning, right? I absolutely love it. Oh, God, I love so many of their bags. And it looks like it's in pretty good condition. Look at the shine. Hmm. Okay, so 
What do we think about this one? I have never seen this model. Like I have to be honest, guys. I have never seen this model. It is gorgeous. Like I said, if this was just pink leather, I might actually think about getting this. I think we should maybe even look into how the inside looks like because it is such a flat little bag. I would say I really want to see how the inside looks like. What would you put in there? Just basically, um, I, you could probably use it as an office bag, right? Put some papers in there, put a laptop in there. And I felt like I had to try this beauty on as well because we know that I want a vintage XXL jumbo one day, right? Just like black and gold hardware. But this is actually the XXL size for the vintage jumbo. So, you know, you can get an idea of how big it is on me. I love it. I think it's a very good size for like every day, you know, you can run your errands with this. Again, guys, very understated Chanel bag, you know, if you want to have a Chanel bag, that's the quality of a vintage Chanel bag. <laughs> let's, let's add that word, vintage Chanel bag, because um, we all know about the quality issues with Chanel nowadays, right? This is a beautiful choice, right? I mean, look at the details, the strap is gorgeous and yeah i love it this goes really well with my little brown dress doesn't it let me know is this a keeper this is actually a very special piece and i think because it doesn't have a logo the price shouldn't be like too much like it shouldn't be too high i hope <laughs> this is the bag my mom loves but i feel like she loves all kind of like all types of red bags at the moment to be honest <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I think it's beautiful, but I love it because of the box calf leather. I'm just a sucker for box calf leather. And again, the size 30, I think, looks best. Um, so I'm gonna show you a 25 now as well. And of course, the beautiful Kelly 35. Hello, beauty. <laughs> so this is my dream color, not my dream size. I think the Kelly 32 is beautiful. Uh, 28 is beautiful, but it's for me personally too small, but 35. You know, that's already like the, the heaviness of it. It's like a no, 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 no. <laughs> um, but also I think proportion wise, you know, proportions are very important. And I feel like it's a teeny tiny little bit too big, but like this dream color guys. <gasps> This is my absolute favorite MS color. Oh my God, how could I have missed this one? I have no clue. So guys, this is a so black. This is a so black vintage Kelly. What? I mean, I don't know when they made their first so black bag, to be honest, um, cause this one is definitely older. See, it doesn't even have the hook, hooks attached for the modern straps. So, wow, what a beautiful piece, right? We're loving so blacks here. Back in 25 in comparison. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I think it's cute, but you know, if I want to get my first MS Birkin, it's not gonna be such a tiny one. Um, I want to be able to use that bag now. I want to use it when I'm 50, I want to use it when I'm 80, hopefully when I'm 100. <laughs> so, you know, it's cute, um, but it's not gonna be my first size. And of course, a very classic little bag. What do we think about this one? It's just classic beauty, isn't it? Hmm. And chocolate brown on chocolate brown. <laughs> what do we think about that? I mean, I wouldn't want a brown Birkin because, you know, most of the time I wear black. Um, but today it looks really good, doesn't it? Okay, so it was amazing. They had so many treasures. Um, which bag did you like the most? The red Birkin? The red Birkin. The, the red, red Birkin. Birkin, of course. You really like red, right, Mom? Yes. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I'm blown away. It was too much almost to take in, to be honest, guys. It was just like, oh, so much eye candy. Yeah. It's gorgeous. We just missed the golden hour, unfortunately, but it's still very beautiful, isn't it? Look at those guys. What a skyline. And there's a really cute kitty again. Hi. Wow, look at your beautiful yellow eyes. Okay guys, so we are here at the Gold Souk now in Old Dubai and they have many different souks uh, right next to each other here. You have the Gold Souk and you've never seen so much gold. <laughs> in one place in your entire life, believe me. And they have the spice souk and the utility souk. What other souks did they have here? Uh, the kitchen souks. The kitchen souks, of course. So there we can see it. 
metro souk, textile souk, ground souk. <laughs> you get the idea. Look at that, that is just crazy. <laughs> And all of this is like 22 karat gold, 24 karat gold. Um, something casual for the evening? Something casual? Why not? Like you always say, these are very ceremonial, right? So they're for like weddings probably. Stuff like that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh wow, look at this little guy here. The panther. That is quite cool. And look at that one, guys. <laughs> they, I would say they took quite a lot of inspiration from a certain brand to create this. And even this piece, I would say, reminds us of a very specific different jewelry brand. And look at what I spotted right here. That is a bejeweled panther. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, guys, and this is the biggest gold ring in the world. And now we're just approaching the spice market um, and it smells incredible. I wish I could make you smell this because <laughs> it is really, really nice. Okay, and this is the utensils slash spice souk. And look, they even have a mattress souk. Okay guys, so we're here in the Dubai Miracle Garden now because it's flowers in the desert and it is a miracle. <laughs> so it looks pretty awesome. Um, we're just gonna go for a little stroll now and look at these peacocks. That's really beautiful, isn't it? My parents are quite excited as well. My dad's taking pictures. Are we excited? Yes. <laughs> is this better than the light park where I brought you to last year? The LSD park. The LSD yeah. park? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's really nice. I've never heard about this place before when I watched like the top 10 things to do in Dubai. Yeah, that's why you went to the light park. <laughs> that's why we went to the light park. Oh wow, look at this guys. Look at the sea of flowers. Wow. That really is so gorgeous. It's magical. Yeah, and that cat is pretty cool as well. However, I don't know why it gives me slight creepy vibes. This is very Alice in Wonderland, right? There's an entire plane covered in flowers. <laughs> I think it's a slight advertisement. <laughs> well, a coconut is even better than bubble tea. It's getting dark now and they actually light the park up then. They actually open until 11 o'clock and look at this beautiful skyline at night. Yep, we need some food now. So let's go have dinner. Mm, oysters, my favorite. And we have some tuna tartar and burrata. Ooh, I love burrata. And some baby squid. And guys, this is my first Dubai bubble tea. So I'm really excited. Did you not want one? You don't want more cups? No, no. no. <laughs> 